Give me a grapevine. Now, reach across the body. Mark it out. Who's this in the back? Oh. <laughs> All right, that's great, Vine. Keep it small. Push those arms. Good. Four, three, two. Give me little kicks. Arms just go forward. Little kicks. Perfect. Make those arms bigger, punch them right out in front. We're gonna reach across the body, here we go, reach. Take it overhead. Back across the body. it out for me. Good, keep it going. We'll find the beat to the next song. Woo! All right, you guys want a speed bag, yeah? We're gonna speed bag. It's your favorite? Is that what you say? Here we go. Keep those feet marching. Almost done. Last four, three, two. Give me that knee lift. One knee, one hand pushes up. There it is. I want the opposite arm to push up. Opposite arm. March it out. Up. Give it that speed back right here. Stay with it. Those feet moving. Make sure both arms are twisting. Knees up. Opposite arm. We're gonna keep this high knee, but I wish you could kick that foot out. Kick. Good. We're gonna keep this kick. But I want you to push it forward, both hands. Both arms push forward. All right, you guys, back to your grapevine. One, two, three, four. Keep it small. Step behind, step together. Good. If you find that the grapevine gets a little twisted up, you can just double step. That's also the option. Oh. 
Last four. Three. Two. Hold it here. March it and speak at. We're almost done. Try to walk that upper body. Hey. Give me four. Three. Two. Push that knee up. Keep that knee, push it forward. Woo, there it is. Keep that knee high, but give me that kick. Good work, good work. Last four. Out for me. I think we're warming up, yeah? We're going to keep warming up through our first few work uh, exercises. Grab a sip of water. You're going to come back with your bicep curl weights that we can knee lift and curl at the same time.
glutes down, stretch those arms. If you need a sip of water, go ahead and get it. We're gonna start with our jumping jacks right here. So you've got your tap outs, you've got your flying legs, you've got your full jacks. Choose your level, here we go. Good, I'm looking for arms to go all the way up and then all the way down to the thighs. Give me a march in place or a quick feet. You're either quick feet or you're marching in place. Hey! Give me a squat, down and up. Back to those jacks. You guys ready? Quick feet, here we go. There it is, there it is. All right, give me those squats. Right here. Those look good. I'm going to add on. Give me a knee lift. Tuck. Switch. One more. Quick feet. Stay quick. Four, three, two. Back to your jacks. That's it, that's it. Last four. Two, one. That other foot goes back. 
lunge it down and up. Good work, good work. I love it. Take your time. Get as many as you can in. Make sure you're going straight down to the floor. Think about head stacked on top of the shoulder, shoulder stacked on top of the hips. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do one more set right here. This time, palms up the whole time. Pull, pull. Good, double check that your core is nice and solid and tight. Your knees are soft. Good. Almost great, everybody. Stay with me. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Last four. Three. Two and one. We're going to alternate our ones this time. We'll take it back and then switch. Take your time with it. Keep that form. Good work. I love it. I see you setting up and then dipping down. seconds. Make these your best. Heads are lifted. Core is tight. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stretch out those legs if you need to. Shake out those wrists. Alright. We're going to do some lateral work here. I want to use I want you to give me a really big, wide step. And I want you to step just to that one foot, the other foot comes behind. It can either tap the floor or not. All right, here we go. Use your arms. You can notice my opposite arm comes across to kind of help with balance. This is our skater. Good. I'm looking for your body to stay facing forward, but that leg crosses behind. Good. If you're trying to practice your balance, see if you can keep that back leg off the ground. Yes. Give me four, three, two. Hold it, your squat position. Arms reach up. They come down, you come into tippy toes. Tippy toes. If you want more, you can pop off the floor in your jump squat. Choose the level that you want. Stick to it. Give me 10 more seconds. Woo! Last four. Three. Let's go back to those skaters. Use that arm to reach towards that other foot. Can you make it a really big step? Good, I see a lot of balance practice this, uh, this round. Good work. Now, you're welcome to go faster than this as well. Yeah, so choose your level. You've got 10 seconds left. Stay focused. Make sure your core is tight. Four, three, two. Squat jumps right here. Up to the tippy toes or jumping off the floor. Making it all the way to the ceiling, yeah? Woo! If you're jumping, as soon as those feet hit the floor, you're in your squat position. 
Give me 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. You ain't seen nothing yet. You guys ready for the next move? Get a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna do external rotation, and then we're gonna serve out our plates of what is your favorite thing to give to people when you when they come over for dinner. Um, Some appetizer. Do you want this? Here you go. All right, so anyways, keep the elbows close to your body. Open up as far as you can in your external rotation and then serve. You have people on both sides of you. There you go. Take your time with it and just challenge your range of motion. Keep the arms low. I don't need you to come up into this high. Stay here. Elbow stay slightly bent to the very end. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Now, shake those arms out. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to come in and we're going to serve it out forward. Open and serve. Open and serve. That's it. Go ahead, stay nice and tall for me. Perfect. Good job. Last five seconds right here. Good. 
down to the mat. I want to do a little bit of boot work today. We're going to be on all fours. And if that bothers you for any reason, you're welcome to stand and do these exercises standing. All right? Let's make sure that they can see me when I go to the floor. All right, we're gonna start on our knees. Again, you can do this standing. You've got also a couple options for your wrists. You can have your weights here and that kind of keeps your wrist in a neutral position. Or you can come into the elbow position where you're down here. So anytime the wrists get tired, you drop down, grab the weights. Straight the leg out right here. Keep your hips facing the floor the whole time. Lift and lower. Good. Make sure your core is tight and make sure that leg is straight. I also want to get a little feel of that hip. It shouldn't be opening up. It should be staying facing the floor. Give me four, three, two. Now on this next one, hold it up. Take it across the other leg, up, and then back down. Again, it's up, across your other leg, up, and back down. Good. Find your pace. We've got about 20 seconds of this one right here. Keep straight leg. Really cross it over. Beautiful. Thank you. 
again. Good. Double check that your eyes are towards the floor. Nice long cervical spine. Beautiful. See if you can really extend that leg and that arm. Lift that ankle. Keep your eyes on that focus point for balance. Last four, three, two, get that one more in, and release. All right, time to come down to our back. All right, we're gonna start actually in that tabletop position. So what I'm looking for is a leg press from here. So I'm in that tabletop position and I'm just going to leg press and bring it back in. Now, if you would like extra, when you come back in, you can take those hips and pop them off the floor and pop. Otherwise, just focus on your leg press. Every time the legs go out, your core feels tighter, right? Because you're holding in those legs. If you feel like double legs is way too much for you today, you can take it a single leg. Press. But I want you to make sure that you're challenging yourself. You can challenge yourself with pushing high, and you can challenge yourself with pushing low. We're gonna finish up here with four, three, two, and one, feet flat on the floor. Hands are behind the head. You're gonna take it, take your upper back off the floor and you're just gonna hold it here. So we're just isometrically holding our upper back off the floor. So your head is relaxed into your fingertips. Good, roll it all the way back down. Take it up and just pull. So you're thinking about taking those ribs and bring them towards your sides. Release, all the way down, and up. Pull from those ribs, pull, 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 pull. Good, and release. So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna pull your hands. That pulls your neck, good, release. We got two more of these. Lift, you're pulling from those ribs. Good, release, last one right here. Good, and then release all the way down. Nice job. I like working isometrics. What our abs do all day is they just hold us isometrically, right? All right, our legs are back up. This time they're straight. So what I'm looking for is you're gonna take your legs down as far as you can. You're gonna bring them up and you're gonna open, close. Down as far as you can. Up, open, close. If you want a little more challenge, you can switch the open, close. Take those legs down, open, close, and then bring them up. So that next level is you open, close at the bottom instead of at the top. Now remember, you're just going down as far as you can without your back marching off the floor. Good work. See if we can get in 10 more seconds worth. Nice job. Last four, three, two, and get that last one in. All right, we're going to everybody's favorite. I get lots of requests to this every day. Five times a day, you guys are texting me. Me, please. We want to do side planks. <laughs> no, it's not true. Oh, oh, whoops. Okay, I want you to be nice and flat right here. So your knees are in alignment with your shoulder. All right, take that hip off the floor. And if you would like, extend that top leg. If you would like to be a little more challenging, remember you can always keep both legs straight and come up in this position. We got 10. Good. See, 
Keep, keep those hips up for 10. Oh, now we got five, four, three, two, and one. Stay on this side. We're going to do a double set. We're going to start at four, three, two, and take it up. Good work, good work. You got it. Double check too that this elbow is right underneath your shoulder. It's going to give you more stability. Let's finish up here with four, three, two, and release down. All right, to the other side. This is our last exercise, you guys. Then you can go enjoy the rest of your day. All right, double check that your knee and your shoulder are in line. And lift. Good, I see everyone challenging themselves. You got this, you can do it. We're gonna stay up for five, four, three, two, and take it down. Good, whenever I pause and take a break and you wanna stay longer, you're welcome to. <laughs> All right, it's the last one, take it up. <laughs> Some of you are side plank champs in the Guinness Book of World Records, I'm sure. Here we go. This is our last five seconds right here. Stay with me. Four, three, two, and release. Ah. Okay, we're gonna sit up nice and tall right here. Bring those feet to so the point to the ceiling. Nice long legs. I want you to drive your knees into the ground. If this is all you got, and you can feel a stretch in your hamstrings, by pushing the floor behind you and leaning forward with a nice long back, stay there. If you have more flexibility, I want you to come down, fold down, reach towards those toes. Good. Choose the level that works for you. Good. Go ahead and release. Shake those knees out. You're going to take your right leg and cross it over top of your knee. Good, so it shouldn't be on top of the knee, but above it. And then I want you to take the other leg and just bend it. Do you feel a stretch in this side over here? Good, that's what I'm looking for. Now, this stretch is really important that your back is straight. The straighter the back, the better. The closer your heels, your butt gets to the heel, the more stretch you get. It's kind of like a figure four, but in a seated position. Make sure you're tall. And there shouldn't be any pain in stretching, right? So you hit that border and then you back off if you need to. Three, two, and release. Good. Some of you may feel a stretch right here, and you can stay there most definitely. But if you need more, go ahead and lift that foot. And that knee, sit really tall. Last four, three, two, and relax. Well done, bring the soles of the feet together now. Okay, so again, you can lean over those legs if you've got the flexibility. Otherwise, you can have the hands behind, sitting tall, and you are actively pushing those legs down. So you feel your muscles pulling them to the ground. So choose what works best to get that stretch to those legs.
And then you'll switch to put the hands in front of you to open up your upper back. And if you feel comfortable, you can let that head drop down between your arms. And I want you to really open up the shoulder blades, feel yourself reaching. Take a deep breath in that upper back. Arms come up to the ceiling as you exhale. Give me one big inhale, exhale, and you're done.